So, you are afraid, you are scared. So what? What you have to realize is that everything that you want to achieve that you haven't achieved already is outside of your comfort zone. There's an invisible layer of fear holding you back. Otherwise, you would have already walked up and grabbed it. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Marino and I help entrepreneurs and online coaches Communicate effectively through video communication. Why? Because with online video, you can communicate much more effectively. People will know and have a better idea of who you are, and that is a great way of gathering trust from people, bringing in and attracting more customers, and ultimately bringing more sales and business to your online business. Very important if you are uh, an online marketer, an entrepreneur, or an online coach. I did a survey not too long ago asking what the biggest fears and frustrations and wants and aspirations are to a lot of different entrepreneurs that I know. And the number one answer, the number one challenge or fear people had around using online video was simply the fear of being in front of the camera or being camera shy, um, being having this fear of misrepresenting themselves or the way they looked or being perfect or looking too professional in front of the camera. So I was working with my good friend Paul Cousineau, he runs Sound of Prana, and he had me go through a few exercises identifying my ideal lifestyle. So um, in detail, I did a few exercises to determine what my ideal lifestyle would look like. And since I am helping others with their video communication, I realized one important thing that I needed to start doing was get, go back to Toastmasters. Toastmasters is something that I used to uh, regularly go to. If you don't know what Toastmasters is, it's a group uh, of people that, that get together to work on their public speaking skills. It is a safe environment to get in front of a group of people, practice a speech, and be evaluated on those skills. So um, in a meeting, there will be an ah counter, counting all the ums and ahs. There would be a grammatarian and a timer, making sure everything is on time. Say you had a speech that was supposed to be, to be between five to seven minutes. There would be that person there to help you stay on track, be concise with your message. And I realized there's a lot of overlap between the fear of getting in front of a group of people and the fear of appearing on camera. There's a lot of overlap in the skills of speaking in public and the skills of speaking in front of a camera. So I realized that this is something very important based on these exercises that Paul brought me through. Now today I was um, working on my online business in the library and, um, you know, I was actually a little, little bit struggling with things. Think a lot of technical issues were coming up and I kind of felt like I wasn't being very productive, even though I was working away, like I wasn't getting many results because the internet connection was slow. And, um, I thought to myself, I should look up if there is a Toastmasters meeting around here. And um, so I looked it up and I realized that there was a Toastmasters meeting in the exact same building that I was uh, working in and it was 15 minutes away. So I realized through Paul's exercises that this is something very important that uh, I should be doing, but there was a tremendous amount of fear that came in my body. So I realized, okay, I need to face this fear. I can't let this hold me back from what is important. So I said to, to myself, you know what, I'm just going to take the first step and check out uh, where this location is. So I didn't fully commit to going to the meeting, but I uh, decided to check it out. And so I found the location, I was standing outside the door and I realized I was five minutes uh, before the meeting started and I decided 
my heart pounding. I'm just going to take the plunge and I walked into the meeting. So I went to a Toastmasters meeting. Now, a few, a couple things that I have to say about fear that I hope that you could take something out of this. One, when you fear something, ask yourself, are you fearing this because it's something important to you? The only reason I really felt fear about going to Toastmasters is because I knew it was important to me. And since I knew it was important to me, I had a fear about going and appearing in front of a, a, a group of people. There's just an inherent fear, um, an intrinsic fear that comes from that. But also, there was a fear of not going because I knew how important it was. Uh, if I didn't think it was that important, I wouldn't feel that much fear around going to Toastmasters because, let's face it, if I didn't think it was that important, I could have easily talked myself out of it. I wouldn't have felt that fear because deep down I would have known, I, I'm not going to end up go, going anyway. So that fear probably wouldn't have arisen for me if even if I was looking into it, but I didn't think it was that important because I know I would have convinced myself, eh, it's not a, it's not a good idea. Uh, number two is it's impossible to eliminate fear. We have fear built into us from birth. It's there for a reason. It helps us survive. Um, it helps us from doing things like dance in the street when there's traffic. It helps us from jumping off a cliff just to see what happens. It helps us to survive. So fear is there for a reason. So we're not going to get rid of it. We should be grateful for the fear that we have inside of us or we'd all have very low lifespans and there probably wouldn't be any humans on the earth right now. Sort of like pain's a good thing. If we didn't feel pain, then I might set my hand on a hot burner for five minutes and not realize I have my hand setting on it or not really care because I'm not feeling pain anyway, but then my hand ends up being, you know, burned right off. Um, we wouldn't be living very long lives. So when you're doing something that you are afraid of, that's important. Remember, you're always going to feel that fear. There are ways to reduce it, like when you uh, are about to talk in front of a camera or you're uh, about to talk in front of a group of people. You could slow things down, take a few deep breaths, and that will relax your body and make those fear chemicals and hormones go down. But the thing is, you're never ever going to get rid of that fear. So one of the things that's important is facing those fears because by facing those fears, you realize, you prove to yourself that feeling fear isn't the end of the world. You know, there's a, I think there's a fear of fear itself. By facing those fears, you're not going to eliminate fear, but Next time you need to do something challenging in your life that could get you ahead in life, say you go for a job interview or you ask for a raise or you are a business person and you're going into a sales conversation, it's important to have already worked on those fears. You're still probably going to be afraid to go into a sales conversation if you're not used to it, but if you uh, did a few Toastmaster speeches that you were afraid of and got used to the feeling of fear, then you could take that next step and take it to another level and do a sales conversation, which is significantly more scary for most people. So, this video has gone on long enough, and also, um, as a result of me going to Toastmasters, I pushed myself going, I did a table topic, which is a couple minute speech, and I ended up getting an award for the best table topic, so there we have it. Anyway, um, my tip for you, if you are making videos, is to make them a lot shorter than this video. <laughs> Alright, peace.